and other project, the Commission for Technical and Vocational Education Training is supervising the construction of engineering workshops in five technical universities, the construction of technical examination centers, and the provision of engineering laboratory equipment for 15 technical universities and institutes. The team first taught the new campus of one of the schools, the Accra Technical University at Mimpasam, near Amasaman. The project consultant gave details of the scope of the program. We have a two-tier program now. The first tier has to do with the modernization of vocational training institutions in Ghana. And it is part of the general vocational education training. And we are doing 35 institutions, modernizing 35 institutions, covering 28 trades. The Acting Director General of the Commission for Technical and Vocational Training, Dr. Fred Asamoa, and the Deputy Education Minister, Gifty Chum Ampofo, shared some insights in relation to the objectives of the project. For every program, we want to make sure that if it's a Siemens, it's mechatronics, and there's a certification, which ensures the proficiency. Each student, after you get your degree, is also given the opportunity to be able to do that certification. And these are the reason why uh, the Commission for TVET, we are holding the accreditation to be able to harmonize it for better outcomes. And we also put structures in place to ensure that as you put in the equipment in place, they're going to put them into maximum use to at least serve the need of our society with the vision of president industrializing the country so that they will support the industries with replacement of machine parts they will support industries with relevant training in the Greater Accra region, the Accra Technical University, Ashaman Technical and Vocational Institute, and the National Vocational Training Institute Head Office are benefiting from the program. How important is the project to these schools? They are being given um, new machinery, the retooling of, of, of the 34 schools that has been on the decks for, for a very long time. Now, with this coming on board, there's going to be a lot of trainings, TV trainings in this country, and that is going to reduce the unemployment um, challenges in this country. And he believes that the country should be very uh, industrialized. The chairperson of Parliamentary Select Committee on Education, Kwabna Amankwa Asiyama, noted that government through this program was committed to training more of the youth to help fulfill its industrialization agenda. It's been clear that government, the expenditure of government in Tibet is, is, is not uh, something, uh, it's not rope, it's real. What we have seen, the latest machines are being installed and uh, we can see that these machines will help our youth to learn the modern technology and also be fit in the modern way of doing things and that uh, we can rub shoulders with all other students who are doing technical education in any other, in any other country. This is what we want to do. We want to reduce uh, the unemployment rate. The next phase of this project is to train teachers or tutors at the technical universities to be able to man these training centers. My name is Kojo Achman reporting for City News.